I want to uh, test my motorcycle battery with the uh, Micro 200 Pro using the um, GB battery testing standard. Let me go there. Battery test. Uh, with the GB standard, it's the only standard on this uh, particular tester that allows you to set um, the amp hours. Now this is a 14 amp hour motorcycle battery. Uh, the tester, at least the firmware, allows you to go down to 3 amp hours and all the way up to 220. You'll have to take my word for that. <clears throat> so let's test um, this battery out. So here you can see that it's displaying the measured cold crank and amps at 170. Uh, the voltage is at 12.66 and the internal resistance is 17.48 milliohms. Um, it's also displaying that the um, rated amperage should be 182 amps. Um, and it's getting that value, I believe, by um, the, the amp hours that you entered in. It's probably using like a lookup table in the firmware. And it's saying, okay, a 14 amp hour battery should have 182 amps. And then it's, it's comparing that 182 amps to a percentage of the cold crank and amps. Um, it, it must be doing something like that. Uh, let me go back. What I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to, instead of saying it's a 14 amp hour, let's just say it's a 20 amp hour battery. And see what the battery tester does. Uh, so you can see that the measured values are pretty much the same. 170 cold crank amps, 12.6 volts, 17.48 milliohms. However, it's now saying that this battery should be rated at 240 amps. Um, and based off of a percentage of that cold crank and amps, it's saying that it's it's a bad battery. <clears throat> so we'll replace it. And let's just go back. Oops, I'm sorry. And put that 14 back in again, just to show you that it's a lookup table. It's not a measured value and there it is again that 182 amps um, so that 182 amps is not a measured value that's you know being taken off of whatever value you input um, and then it does a look up anyway I think I beat that horse to death um, uh, but just as a recap the, um, the this battery tester has many different testing standards. But every one of these, like the cold crank and amps, uh, they just ask for like what is the amperage, um, what is the rate at cold crank and amps of your battery, and you put that in. Uh, the only option that allows you to enter in a amp hour is this GB option and it goes from th three and it goes all the way to 220 which probably means that it just has a lookup table that will do a comparison of what the amps should be. Anyway, that's the video. 
Um, take it easy.